Okay, what's over here? Oh crap, you're putting me in a position where I have to defend myself. A red oil lamp is not lit, let's fix that. All right, I need to take pictures of these again. I need these to open a keypad later. Strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Could it have some kind of meaning? No, they just put a eyeball on the end of it for no reason. Oh, you take a lot of hits. Take the green herb, yes. Okay, that one's on the wall. I'm gonna go down here. Take a picture of this. First aid box. The red book. Bandage with blood. Shotgun shells. I'm going to combine my herbs. Let's open this up. Herb mix of green and blue herb was inside. There's nothing else down here. There's no other items here. I don't know where that spider is, the other one. Let's do this one. Picture. Sit for that. I don't think that's a key for anything right there. Need a picture of this. Some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but it probably means something or other. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. That one's going downstairs. Run past it real quick. Oh, no, he's not downstairs. He's right there. Listen, dude, I really don't want to waste another shotgun shell on you. I got hunters to deal with later. God, okay, I don't like running spiders. I don't have arachnophobia, but that doesn't mean I want to get up close and personal with a big hairy spider. Oh, fantastic. Is that one on the steps too? Are they both on the steps. That one's still on the wall, isn't he? Okay, he's still on the wall. That's good. Okay, I need you to come this way. Come on. No, don't spit at me. You can't hit me anyway. Come this way. There we go. Oh, good God, run. Okay. Pool table. All right, come on. I'm an expert of this technique. Avoiding things around the table. Get out. All right, bye. There's nothing else in here and I never need to come back. Have a good one. Okay. I'm gonna stop at, oh, I just walked right into that hole. I'm gonna stop at the item box. All right, I'm just gonna run around with my shotgun. That's it. That way I've got room for things. Any zombies I run into in this place, because I think that's pretty much the only other thing I'm going to run into. There's not that many of them, and if they do show up, they're going to show up pretty much right near me, I think. I'm not going to have the opportunity to really kill them with a handgun. So we'll just take the shotgun. going to try not to have to down any of them. Bees are going to show up in here. Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. It's locked. The door plate reads gallery. Okay, so this is the room I can go. 
I kind of don't want to take this map because I think when I take this map, bees spawn in this hallway. Not that they're really that big of a deal, but there's a map of the residence. Take it. For sure. You got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. Oh, okay. I'm good so long as I don't actually look in that hole, so I won't look in that hole until I need to later. Works for me. Let's check out the main room first. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plan of Point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed this host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow, it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Forgot a word in there. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998. Henry Sarton. Who does not like the word it. Alright. Assuming Henry Sarton is also dead. Old newspapers and magazines lie on top of the bed. Someone appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers. Maybe it was Henry Sarton. What? Okay. I'm guessing this dude came out of the bathroom. What is it with zombies and bathrooms? What do you think? Alright, one shot. And I don't have to burn you, so yay for that. There is our hidden ladder, but let's go check the bathroom. Okay, yeah, there's nobody in here. There's no plug to drain. We take the residence key. Yes. Wait, residence key? This isn't the key for the aqua ring? Numbers zero zero one is imprinted. Oh, okay. Guess we're not going down the ladder yet. There's nothing else in here. All right, let's head back towards the save room because that's where zero zero one is. You use the key for room zero zero one. There's no further use for this key. Discard yes. Hello. Oh, this is the, uh, the swinging room. 
It's this guy. Don't mind me. This bed shows signs of having been used, but something tells me it hasn't been recently. Will you take the self-defense gun? Yes, this, again, is something I'm going to use to kill one hunter with later, because from what I understand, it's not as effective on bosses, and it seemed to work when I used it that way in Jill's game. It's basically a magnum round. Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. And they were in the residence. Resident Evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. But I put him out of his misery. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. We take the handgun magazine, yes. That will come in handy for something at some point, I'm sure. Okay, so his friend's in the bathroom, but I don't think his friend is up immediately. There's nothing else in here, so let's head to the bathroom. Should be able to avoid all the zombies here. Okay, there's something here. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Sure. There's something inside the bathtub. We take the control room key. Yes, that we need in the aqua ring. And there's nothing else here, except that guy getting up. And that guy's rope snapped in Jill's game, but apparently it didn't this time around. Okay, they won't come out here, I'm pretty sure, so I don't have to worry about them. Okay. This is all I'm taking with me down there. I shouldn't run into any enemies in the aqua ring outside of the sharks, and I might have to pump around into them just to finish them off. I would take the knife, but I have a feeling if I try to get close enough to stab them, they're gonna attack me, so I'll just use a bullet. I've got plenty. Back in the room with the ladder, we're gonna head down to the aqua ring. There's a ladder here, climb down, yes. All right, back to this music I dig. I like this song, it's relaxing, but it's creepy at the same time. Okay, I gotta push all three of these crates and make a bridge here, and I'm not gonna make you watch me slowly push all these crates into the water. But when I do, each one is gonna kinda look a little something like this. Maybe I'll leave the splashes in. The splashes are kind of satisfying in an odd way. There's two. And this one's gonna take me like half an hour to get over here. There we go, a perfectly placed bridge. Herb. Shark time. Hopefully I don't take too many bites here. Oh. Richard! 
Why are you here? Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard. Man, wildlife really does not like him. Run, Chris, run. Run. Arr. Okay, I didn't bring a healing item. That was stupid, but I'll use this herb. I gotta make it to that power room. If I can make it that far, I don't have to worry about anything. Go. 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 Quick. You're almost there. You're there, you're there, you're there. Use the control room key. There's no further use for this key. Discard, sure, get in. All right, made it. Yeah, I, I'm getting a little bit cocky now with not bringing healing items. I should have brought something with me. I'm very lucky that herb was there. Then again, it's not like I would be dead. All right, there's nothing up there. All right, this puzzle again. We take the first aid box, yes, what's in it? An herb mix of two green herbs was inside. Good, we like those. An oil pressure regulator. There's no need to adjust the pressure right now. The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of the water. And apparently I accidentally hit the button twice. There we go. All right, so we need to do something about this water, which will in turn do something about the sharks. There is a map of the Aqua Ring. Take it, yes. You got the map of the Aqua Ring. There's something here. It tells me about the oil pressure, I think. Caution. In case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve number one. That's the same one from Jules' game, I believe. Let's get these sharks in this water taken care of. Controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Yeah. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. I don't know what the shark's so irritated about. It just had a large meal. Cannot resume drainage. Pressure shelter is locked. Release the safety, yes. Safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. Think I need to do this? There's a control lever for the pressure shelter. Pull it, yes. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. Because of course it's not going to work properly, it's umbrella. These switches control the oil pressure valves. Press switch, switch, one. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Need this, right? Pressure shelter is locked, release the safety. Safety mechanism has been released, and then I think I do this. There's a control lever, pull it, yes. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Don't tell me what to do. I'm doing it, calm down. All right. Now the shark can't get in and flood this room. Safety has been released, drain water, yes. Water has been completely drained. Which means the sharks are no longer a threat. Which means, yay. All right, let's go in here.
Okay. Uh, let's go this way first. We take the shotgun shells, yes. This game is throwing tons of shotgun shells at me. Materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. Yeah, let's just leave dynamite hanging around here. All right, nothing else here. Yeah, you're probably pretty annoyed at me right now, huh? Let me take care of that for you. Oh, look. We take the assault shotgun, yes. With 10 shotgun rounds in it. I'm guessing the shark did not decide to eat that with Richard. Since that was Richard's gun that he used in Jill's game. Okay, this scarred up fellow. Let's avoid him. Okay, I want this thing that's in this cabinet here. Look, I'd be pretty annoyed too, but destruction of property, really? Generator unit for the water flow control system. Pull lever down, yes. Pretty shocking turn of events, huh? Alright, let's get this key. Got your body is in my way. How do I get to this thing? This way. We take the residence key, yes. Which is clearly marked gallery. Alright, nothing else here. Let's go back. Alright, I... Th hmm... I'm going to go back upstairs real quick and check that room where Plant 42's roots are. We haven't actually been there yet, but I want to make sure there's not an item there on Chris's run. I can go put down that other shark while I'm at it too. Nighty night. Let's take a look in here. Okay, yeah, there's no items in here. We will be dealing with him very shortly. I'm pretty sure... Ooh. Actually, I don't know how this is going to work with Chris. I can use the formula on the roots, I believe, but is Chris going to have to fight him after that? Because Barry's not going to be there to save him with a flamethrower. I forget how this works. Okay, I need to go out this way. Which I believe is going to take me to a ladder. Ooh, magnum rounds. Yes. And nothing else in the aqua ring, and that's good because I don't have any more inventory space. We'll be back here later, though. You unlocked it. Alright, we're out. I should probably go back to the item box and drop some things off. Okay, I'm just gonna bring the shotgun that already had three bullets left so I can use them up if I need to. And I'm gonna take the residence key for the gallery. Alright. You use the rest in this key. There's no further use for this key. Discard. Yes.
Okay, I think I gotta deal with bees here in this room. We take the handgun magazine, yes. Let's just deal with the bees right now. Hello? Horribly dead person, I need this thing you've got. Corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. We take the insecticide spray. Yes, and I'm going to get out of here and put it to use. Now let's go have a look at this hole. Couple of them lingered for quite a while. Okay, that's it for the insecticide spray, and that takes care of the bee issue. All's in here. Old award certificates lie on the shelf. Most of them are from the city or the army. Lab equipment you've never seen before. Could these have been used for some kind of experiment? An assortment of old test tubes and flasks. it has got to be something back where this hive was. Oh, that guy's face. We take the resonance key, yes. All right. Numbers. 003 is imprinted. Hmm. I can get in here, right? The lock mechanism for the door. Use it, yes. Alright, I gotta refer to my pictures from the spider room to figure this out. So this should be three. I think the reason the numbers are so bright is because of my reshade. I couldn't figure it out when I was playing through with Jill. I think the reshade is making it look like that. Okay, that one is, I think that one's five. And then this one is six. All right. I don't think I can do this yet because I don't have the instructions available. There's something written on the wall, one plus three. Yeah, I saw the equations. I need to file for this first. But we can make V jolt in there. So we need to go ahead. Let's go see what's in here. Use the key for room 003. There's no further use for it. Discard, yes. I need to grab the red book too, but it's not necessary to grab it right this second. Some rolls of wallpaper. There shouldn't be anybody here, but there might be someone in the bathroom. The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwiched in between them. Take it? Yes. Organic chemistry lab experiment. Similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. Characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number 3, red, yellow 6, yellow, UMB number 7, green, UMB number 10, orange, VP 17, blue, and V-Jolt is dark brown. We will be taking care of that in a moment. I need to bring the red book back here so I can 
access that, but that's just going to take me to the plan, I think. Your view is blocked by a dense thicket of trees. A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surround it. Is there nothing else in here? Nope. We gotta check the bathroom. Gotta check the bathroom. Alright, who's hiding out in here this time? No one. Cool, I'm okay with that. The shelves are lined with various soaps and cosmetics. They're all umbrella brand products. Hmm. They seem pretty popular around here. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Yes. Don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, this room's completely empty. Not sure why this room's even here. I guess to give you a hint about Umbrella, maybe. Alright, let's get out of here and go do some chemistry. Alright. For some reason, I thought Rebecca did this part. But I'm apparently wrong about that. Okay, 1 plus 3 equals 4, 4 plus 6 equals 10. So. I take a picture of the file again. Make my life a little bit easier. Now, one is water. So we need a bottle. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottle. What? This isn't medicine. It's a damn poison we're applying to a plant. Chris, are you serious? I guess we do need Rebecca. So how the hell does this work? Do I have to go hunt down Rebecca? I don't remember this. Unless he can't make it? Because that's not good. Rebecca. Rebecca? Help, I don't know how to science. Crap. I might have to fight this plant with Chris. I'm gonna have to go arm myself. Because if he can't V-Jolt and Rebecca doesn't show up, then I'm not sure what to do here. I could look it up, but I'm not gonna bother. It'll be a surprise what happens. Plus, I probably get to have a plant kick my ass, so... So I remember hating this fight. I'm going to bring the assault shotgun instead of the regular shotgun since it holds more ammo and I'm bringing a ton of healing items. I'm probably going to have to use at least one. I'm really hoping I don't have to use too much ammo against this thing. I got to figure out how he works. I know it exposes its weak point, but I don't know if you need to shoot it first to get it to expose its weak point. Wait a minute, I need a book. This is all because you skipped basic chemistry. Chris. Space in between books catches your attention. Who's that? The bindings of the book seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books? Yes. Alright, this is very, very basic and easy to do. There we go. Super simple. Oh god. Okay, I hate this fight. Let's do it. Way to go, Chris. You're off to a great start. 